Hi, I'm Joyce. I'm the Energy Lady. Today I want to talk to you about um, being mad. Have you ever been mad at someone? If you haven't, then you're probably not human. <laughs> um, and maybe you do. You don't get mad. But it's a human characteristic. We get mad. But you know what happens when you get mad? You give your good energy over to somebody. You're actually turning your good energy and handing it over to them when you get mad at them. So you think about, this is kind of how I ask people, can you backtrack? When, when you get mad at something, at somebody, are you hungry? Are you dehydrated? Are you tired? Those are some factors that you need to take into account when you do get mad at someone. And when you do get mad at them, what do you do? Do you retaliate? Do you get revenge? Do you get back at them? Do you make them suffer because you're mad at something they did? All of those are reactions that take from your energy. So if you're wanting to clean up your energy and you're wanting your energy to be better and um, a more uplifting energy, then probably best to look at how you're giving your good energy away. And you do, you literally hand it over every time you get mad at somebody. So there's a few things and a little tips that you can do. One of them is, I know oftentimes you've heard, don't go to bed when you're angry at your spouse. Well, I'm gonna say, go to bed, get some sleep, talk about it in the morning. I'll guarantee you, Whatever the issue was that you were mad about when you were going to bed is going to feel a whole lot better in the morning after you've had a little rest. You might have to drink a glass of water. Ask yourself, when was the last time I drank a glass of water? So hydration is important for keeping your body functioning, including the mind. The mind needs hydrated. So breathe deep breathing that will even hydrate the body okay here's a cool little energy tip if you don't have water nearby take these two beautiful paddle hands that you have and put them on the back on your kidneys and just hold them there for a few minutes to help hydrate you until you get some water don't use that as a replacement but do that if you need to until you get some water okay so when you get upset with anybody there's always something going on inside of you. It may have triggered something from the past. And so you have to consider, okay, so what just happened and what is it that upset me? You know, I've taught cord cutting on here before, taking your hand in front and cutting the cords. Do you wanna do it right in front of the person you're mad at? Maybe not, because if you're arguing, that might make them more upset because they don't know what you're doing. Or if they do know what you're doing, they might be upset too. So, but cutting those cords so that you're not taking on what they're sharing with you, okay? I know I had an experience where I was driving down the road and I was on my phone, didn't have my earplugs, and a woman drove up next to me and she was really upset with me being on my phone driving. We were at a stoplight, she was yelling and swearing at me and I rolled up my windows and locked my doors because I was a little afraid. I, of course, I hung up my phone. I looked at her, told her I was sorry but I was cutting cords the whole time because I thought, I don't want to take on that woman's upset. And, and I was not going to allow my day to be ruined because she was upset. And I knew there probably was some history and why she was so, oh, so upset with me being on the phone. And that's hers. It's not mine. So I cut the cords, cut the cords, cut the cords. And I even said a few forgivenesses. I was saying, I forgive that woman for yelling at me. I forgive that woman for swearing at me. I forgive that woman for being so upset. I forgave myself for being on the phone driving. I forgave myself for forgetting my earbuds and not being with my earbuds on. Um, I forgive myself for allowing myself to be upset by a complete stranger. I didn't even know. And so by cutting the cords and saying those forgivenesses through the whole red light, the whole time she's yelling at me, by the time I turned the corner, my day was not ruined. I felt okay. I was not, I call it slimed. I did not feel like I took on all her energy and I didn't give her mine. 
So there are, there are ways that you can help yourself when you get mad. But remember those few tips. Are you tired? Do you need to be hydrated? Are you hungry? Do you need to breathe? Remember those tips if you are mad. Take a deep breath. You know, we teach our kids that. Have you ever taught your kids that? Whenever they were upset with each other, we say to them, take a deep breath. <laughs> and so, same goes for you. You get mad at somebody, take a deep breath. Get yourself a drink of water. And if you really need to, eat some food and take a nap. Before you're gonna communicate something that might be really important and value, that you're afraid somebody might get upset over, make sure you're hydrated, rested, and fed, okay? So those are just a few tips about whether or not you get mad. If you never get mad at anything, then more power to you, but eh, I kind of question that one. So we'll talk to you later. Have a great day.